For almost a year, I've been trying to get my camera inside of the new body style Newmar King Air. Today, we hit the jackpot and found this 2022 Newmar King Air that's available for sale. Any of you that know the King Air market know they have not lasted very long. So this is an anomaly to see this 2022 Newmar King Air for sale. Today I'm hanging out here at Trans West in Belton, Missouri with Lance. How you doing today, sir? Hey guys, doing great, Andrew. It is so rare for me to be able to get a King Air, let alone get one here landed on the ground in stock. I mean, usually most of these King Airs are sold uh, long before they even get here. So the Newmar has put us on a pretty tight allocation. Chassis are so short, parts, as you guys may already know, it's such a crunch out there on parts and chassis that with such a short allocation, I think if you guys are interested, uh, I've got I've got a 4531 and I got a 4533 right here on the lot, and I, that means that I got even fewer coaches left in my allocation. Well, I'm excited. Let's take a look at this 4531. Yeah, so this is going to be our 4531 model. This is a new design for Newmar, and I like how they kind of they got away from all the swirls, right? Just something completely different. Of course, this is going to be their masterpiece finish. This is all cut and buff. So when you run your hands across here, it's absolutely smooth. Something you'd expect in a luxury coach like this. And just a lot of neat features like their badging, right? They didn't just paint it on. They actually have a lot of nice machined out badging all across the, the coach around here. This is going to be sitting on the K3 uh, Spartan chassis. It's going to have 605 horsepower. It's going to have about 1,950 pounds of torque. 12.5 kilowatt uh, Odin generator. Man, just loads of stuff. Can't wait to tell you about the power system on this thing. It's just incredible now we just did a video test driving another 2022 newmark king air we went really in depth on that but you were telling me we actually forgot a bunch of stuff in that video yeah i mean one of the things i just wanted to you know when we're when we're looking at this thing you know you've got the newer headlights which wasn't on the older style king airs just looking at their their badging system that they had up here in the front some really nice upgrades the marker lights on the mirrors you got marker lights on the top uh, one of the main things that we didn't really cover a lot about was like the solar system that they have. So high tech solar system. They got big, four big solar panels up there that are actually glued onto the roof. So you can actually walk over the top of them. They're very durable, uh, very rugged. So um, yeah, well, let's take a look at some of these basement bays and I'm looking forward to seeing the inside of this coach, those new windows. Yeah, so you look at these bonded windows, my goodness, they're just absolutely gorgeous. And you can see where they finish them together and you don't have that big old bar there or, you know, usually they have a bunch of fiberglass, two or three feet of fiberglass, but nothing but this window all the way across. Pretty yeah, amazing. super sleek styling. And when we get inside, you guys are gonna see just the views are incredible. When you hit the unlock button, you're gonna know uh, these things will light up blue. That way that lets you know that you can uh, go ahead and open up the doors and uh, they're going to have little actuators in here so uh, it's going to be effortless to open and close doors just a push button that's the uv water filtration system it's going to be pure water I mean, fresh clean water and then your ice maker for your refrigerator right that's going to also feed the ice maker in the refrigerator so your ice is going to be really nice yeah and i love seeing a power washer with that high pressure hose and the wand makes getting the bugs off a lot easier and then also a little spot to hold this bug scrubber there to and we all got to clean our windshield and it's all lined with that same high-end vinyl that we saw on that other 2022 king air and i'm going to make sure to leave a link to the other 2022 king air video in the description below if you want to see the whole test drive and the tour of that coach as well you notice there's a little knockout right here yeah so you don't have to sit there and snake the hose through a hole i like it and again just a nice soft touch and door sucks in by itself. This is gonna be a nice little uh, cargo area. It has a uh, 1,000 pound uh, power slide tray. One of the nice things that I like about this particular setup is where they put the button to bring the tray out. Yes, sir. It's right here on the door. So it does make it pretty easy to bring it out. Now, of course, the tray does go either direction. And the same little uh, tweed lining on that vinyl that we saw in that bay, they actually lined the, the cargo trays too. So it makes it easy for cleanup and uh, just a nice look. And I've got to get everybody a close up on this paint job. Look at that drop shadow and the depth. And as Lance was saying, there's no swoops and swirls. They got away from that kind of straight lines. Yeah, just a nice clean look. Yeah, we do have another slide tray here. 
another thousand pound uh, capacity on that tray just a little bit wider tray one of the things too that you'll notice about this slide is uh, what Newmar does is when it goes in it goes flush to the wall so you can see that uh, this recess is inside the wall there so your seals are gonna last much longer and it just makes for a much quieter ride eliminates a lot of that wind noise cab noise that you'd hear going down the road let's get to the wet bay they've got a really nice wet bay here I just love the look of this bay it's all polished aluminum super clean yep of course electronic valves electronic switches for your valves to open and close your dumps you've got that water manifold system in there so you can isolate whatever problem you might be having if you have a leak somewhere you can still continue to get water throughout the coach get a, a power hose reel and then a manual dump Valterra dump as well as a macerator toilet is macerator yep. dump as well yep you got the thetford uh santacon system which uh this is a power macerator uh so you can do it either or right uh some people don't like to use those but it does also have this nice little shield uh, one thing you don't want to do, this is going to be a plastic hose. You don't ever want to get a hole in that, right? Yes, so, sir. Yeah. It's kind of a nice deal to have a little protection on the hose. You do have another water filtration system here. So it really does a lot of job because a lot of areas, some of these RV parks, they were kind of built in the 50s, maybe don't have the best water. It's kind of nice to know that the water that's coming into this coach is going to be clean when it comes out of that faucet. I think this is one of my newer favorite paint jobs. I keep got to take it. I got to take a couple steps back just Absolutely. to uh, admire it. Take just. It just a stunning coach uh 365 uh steer tires the uh, 315s back so here got, yeah you got, you got 365s on the front you got 315s uh here on the rear they're all gonna be michelins so one of the uh, safety features uh, that this coach has it has what's called blind spot detection you've got two in the front two in the middle two in the front i mean two in the rear two in the middle two in the front yeah and if you take a look here they didn't skimp on that paint job it would have been really easy to make the paint design go a little bit different but they've got that drop shadow that continues through that got a little extra spot here for your stinky slinky i like it uh, i like it i tell you a really nice uh docking lights right all the way around the coach yeah you got the two here in the back and the two in the middle um you've got an area here where you can fuel up for your depth okay so the def fill on both sides of the coach yep both sides it's gonna be a 15 gallon capacity so a 200 gallon fuel capacity good looking rear end back here what else is going on i mean it's absolutely gorgeous i mean if you look at this this grill that they got here i mean just the work that they put into that right and then they've got the badging they could have just left the badging off this they could have maybe put it up there on the wall a little extra work to put it yeah on there. i like that almost ties in with that same theme that we're going to see inside mm -hmm. on the ceiling uh spartan k3 chassis with a cummins x15 yes. what makes the spartan k3 chassis so great so uh one of the things that makes spartan overall a little bit better they're about 50 percent uh thicker frame than their competition so most of your fire trucks right your uh, uh first responders they build them on Spart uh, spartan chassis here's the thing they don't get a pick where the disaster is right so when you got a fire truck and they're building on a spartan chassis it tells you something right because it can handle that abuse so with this uh, spartan chassis you take the adaptive cruise control the lane management um, the collision mitigation that's another thing we didn't get to on the other one uh, if you get too close to somebody it will actually start slowing the coach down for you nice. it'll apply about maybe 75 percent of your braking power to avoid a crash so nice. here in the back you do have a 20,000 pound hitch system you do have the avoider adapter this is going to be a camera uh plug and play if you got a uh, let's say a stacker trailer and you want your camera system back there uh you've already got all your hookups there for it um you do have your uh air supply there so if you have like an air force one for trailer trailer air brakes as well yeah you know speaking of that uh one of the things that we didn't get to so uh with the 50 foot power cord reel right next to it there's going to be a, a 30 amp plug so if you have a stacker trailer or uh let's say you're at a cabana somewhere and there's no power to it you can plug in a 30 amp cord and supply power to your trailer or to other things that you might need a little buddy plug yes sir yeah, a little buddy plug so this is going to be the spartan work the workbench um this is going to be where you have your disconnects your chassis batteries you got your air dryer your fuel separator um you do have a little air actuator here so you can flip this switch and what that does that opens up the rear everything about this coach whether it's closing the cargo doors opening up your rear engine compartment it's made to make your life a lot easier you don't have to really fight anything it's really it's really quite nice yeah here's a look at that 605 horsepower cummins x15 
this thing is a beast yes sir i mean just an absolute beast you know um you've got air you got air supply back here you know a little and here's the thing with the with the king air it actually has a dedicated air compressor on board one of the things that this chassis provides is both hydraulic auto leveling and also uh air leveling now the dedicated air compressor is to make sure that this thing maintains level because over time you know it doesn't matter what coach it is it, the airbags will tend to start losing air but with that dedicated uh, air compressor it's going to maintain level and make sure that these bags stay filled all right so just to close this thing we just give her a flip down boom easy peasy i like that yeah and uh this coach does come with the egress door yes sir uh one of the nice things about that is when you come out there is a ladder that will come out of that door so you can actually just climb down the ladder it actually is a pretty neat little feature you're yeah, not having to jump out the door. and if you, it's really easy to open so if you do need to load stuff right into the back of the coach you can just open that up and load your closet or whatnot absolutely go to walmart and say hey hand me the toilet paper right exactly yes sir so, so if you do need a uh, um let's say you need to have a service tag come in here check your uh your suspension and the different air points uh they can come back here uh service has easy access to all the different airlines that is attached to this coach so they can get you up and running on the, on the road pretty quick yes sir so with the spartan chassis uh one of the nice things with the passive tag axle earlier coaches were about eight to ten degrees this one is a 17 degree wheel cut so less tire scrubbing less wear and tear and uh just a really nice feature now one of the things that really makes this coach stand out above the rest is previous coaches, previous King Airs used to have 16 six volt batteries, which would equate to about 10,000 watt hours of power. This thing has 30,000 watt hours of power. That's just incredible. What that allows you to do is run this coach, uh, both uh, the front and the mid air conditioner, and you don't have to run your generator, you don't have to be plugged into shore power and it'll run the entire coach and everything in it. So, pretty nice feature. Nice. So you are gonna have two 3,000 watt uh, Xantrax inverters. You're gonna need that when you've got uh, all that power. Yes, sir. You wanna power up the air conditioners. You gotta keep it going. So this is a nice little bay right here. I like the fact that you have uh, little, little tool caddies in there. These are all adjustable shelving, right? You just lift up and you can put the racks wherever you want. I actually seen a person, uh, the, the only tool that they brought was different gallons of uh, whiskey and, and <laughs> vodka, so. Yeah, and one other thing I've got to point out, Newmar does this in almost all their products, but this lighting, that bright blue, blue lighting, uh, when it's dark, it just really illuminates these bays. Yeah, just a nice feel. And as you can see, I mean, they follow this food lining, this vinyl, all yep. throughout the coach, so it's just nice to go into a cargo bay and they pay attention just as much to the outside of this coach as they do the inside. Absolutely. So we're going to have your Dometic uh, refrigerator. So this could be refrigerator, 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 freezer. You pick and choose. So pretty nice to be able to do that. Um, now this does have central back. Uh, does come with an Oasis system. It's going to be a dual loop. Now a dual loop is uh, really nice because in a hydronic system like this, when uh, you have your hydronic fluid uh, going throughout the whole coach, by the time it makes it to that last register, it may not have as much heat into that fluid. So when it can split up, it maintains nice even heat throughout the coach. Yeah, seven zones of heated flooring. Real quick, before you put that back in, yeah. I just want to point out as well, this is all finished out. You know, it would have been real easy to leave that unfinished below where the cooler is, but that same high-end vinyl that we've seen in all the other bays. Absolutely. So, uh, 110, now this this ice chest is 110 or DC, so it doesn't matter whether you're running on direct current or if you're plugged into shore power, it'll switch over to whichever one you're using. So, we opted to have the built-in shelves on this one. I like it. Yeah, I mean, just, you know. A little uh, more storage, storage yeah. Storage is, is a must in these things, so. Then that same automatic tray, great positioning of this switch like we pointed out before. Mm -hmm. Uh, 1,000 pound carrying capacity on that tray. I'm looking forward to seeing what's in this bay here. So you've got your Samsung TV um, and with a Bose speaker. What's nice about this is, I mean, not only will it, uh, you know, pull out, which is kind of nice. Maybe you get the, the sun off of it if you need to, but there is an actual control right here next to the TV. As you can see, it says TV or dash radio. 
And what that can do is if you want to play tunes off the dash radio, it'll tie right into the speaker for you. Nice. One ten outlet and two USB ports here next to it. So if you want to charge up your phone, whatever appliances you got out there, maybe you want to plug in a blender. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we got another slide tray in this bay. And we just have a little extra storage in the bay next to it. So yeah, a lot of, lot of storage in this coach, all lined with that same vinyl. And I really like this option of having this extra shelf here and then that automatic tray. You can only stack your stuff so high, so mm -hmm. that's a nice yeah. nice feature. Now, I know we just showed it on the other one, but this, this lift does kind of fall down. So if you got some really heavy items that you don't want to lift up over, that kind of just helps. All right, well, the bays are beautiful in this coach. Lance, can you show everyone on YouTube the inside? Sure will. So coming into the coach, you're going to see that we have an HWH uh, triple step. It's going to bring you lower to the ground. This thing's got, uh, what is it, seven cameras, eight including this one. This is a camera here next to the door. Let's say you're in you're in a different country on vacation and, and somebody's at your door here at your coach, you can see right from your phone who's coming up to your coach. And uh, using your MyRosy app on that phone, you can unlock the door for somebody if you have uh, maintenance or maybe a cleaning crew because you're getting ready to come take your coach and head out for a nice trip. You want them to clean it up before you come take it. You can, from your phone, you can unlock it and let your cleaning crew come in. So pretty nice feature. I like it, I like now, it. Now coming in here, you got all Italian leather coming in here. Yeah, beautiful right? surface there. You've got a nice screen door here if you want to shut this thing off. Oh yeah. Right? But come out on here, you're going to notice uh, basically couch number one, which is basically <laughs> the the passenger chair is just absolutely huge. I'll tell you what, this shadow is coming through here. Can we put down these day shades just to get us a, bit, a little better lighting yeah. and then put out the slide outs as well? Let's do it. And I love these day shades. It's a cool texture. Yeah, I love that that look. Can you black out this coach for us? Yeah, sure can. We'll just uh, come over here to our panel. So actually what you do is you just come over here, click on shades. Oh, that was bringing them up. Oh, can let's, you let's bring them down? Radio off the... Boom. So that'll shut everything down all at once, uh, even your front. So let's say you're tired, you just want to call it a day. Just push one button and it sh shuts all the shades for you. Cool. Totally different vibe in here with all the windows closed. Yeah. What's going on? Just some really nice warm uh, textures. Uh, you've got the so this these type of cabinets are called uh, the Modesto Rift. And then they put that suede finish on here. This is just something completely new. It just gives it a nice uh, warm feel and texture to it. So uh, just just really nice. And then of course you've got your like your barn style uh, porcelain tile floors here. So some of the other uh, nicer features too is um, when you just look at the the overall design, right? You've got more of this European style cabinets. You've got this beautiful. Uh, I don't even know what you want to call it, like Art Deco, whatever. This yeah. is like super high end. I've never seen a ceiling trimmed out to this level. This is on a whole nother level. Of course, you've got your ostrich skin uh, roof, which yeah. is just, again, a, just a, such a nice touch to it. You would never know it, but when you start adding all these different textures, together it just gives it such a just an awesome feel overall not only the textures but the lighting as well and i've got to point out you've got the straight line lighting and then those same high-end surfaces with the straight lines so you don't have like the valance boxes over the windows you've got all windows this whole wall here uh and i don't know if this is a suede or what type of material uh, is that yeah, on the that's, that's like a, a suede i mean if, if you just take your hand like that you can see that it just you can bring the texture one direction yeah so yeah lighting just so much going on in this coach and then one other thing too um up on these captain's chairs here this stitching i started seeing that in like brand new bentley's and ferraris recently yeah is this the first year for that style of stitching it is really nice and he here's the other thing with this with this uh stitching this is all going to be top grain leather with made by williamsburg all custom furniture uh these seats are going to be heated and cooled and uh it is going to be a massage chair too so and then these both of course they flip around to face the living room this is another thing that i like because some of your luxury coaches they kind of cut out this part of the living space so this is nice additional space to the overall coach so that's just something that i really like so one of the nice features that i, I like that they've actually 
uh, added for the passenger is they can uh, actually be involved in the overall experience of the driving. So um, they do have a little nice monitor here. So uh, if they want to see what's going on with the camera, they can change the different views. They can see left, right, front. I mean, they can see what's going on. Maybe they want to help with the navigation. They can punch in the directions so the driver can continue to keep driving. Wireless charging port, cup holder, passenger has air conditioning controls, outlets with USB ports back here. You notice the stitching too here, right? All this different level of trim. Yeah. Right? It's like an armrest. Um, I like the fact that it falls through right into the dash. Yes, sir. Right, so it's just a nice continuity throughout the whole entire coach. Now, both of these are gonna be recliners. So when you flip them around, I mean, it's gonna be just as comfortable, if not more comfortable than that entertainment theater seating. I mean, these things are plush. Sitting here behind the cockpit, there's just so much going on. You got your 10 inch dual monitors here. So as you can see, uh, now it does have that 360 degree uh, bird's eye view. So yeah, you can change your different views all throughout the coach. Let's just go. There. And we just had a chance to test drive another 2022. I'll make sure to leave that video in the description below where we test drove a 2022. In that video, we demonstrated the steering wheel controls are all telescopic and tilting, all automatic. The pedal controls are automatic. There's that big digital dash. What else is going on here? You've got the paddle controls here, right? So you've got the adjustable uh, pedals down here below. Now, what I like about it is the hardware is not mounted into the floor, right? It's mounted above the steering pedal. So when you have your foot down here, let's say if you're on cruise control, you don't got that big metal bar blocking yep. your foot. So um, it just allows you to be able to stay a little bit more relaxed and you've got, uh, you're not crowded in with that space. So now with this paddle, you can bring that, you can telescope your wheel, you can actually, uh, tilt your steering wheel as well now this steering wheel is also heated so if you're if you've got arthritis or if you need a little bit more warmth right um, you can turn the heat on the seat you can turn the heat on the steering wheel so it can really help add that next level of comfort for you and of course uh, the digital display up here there's gonna be a lot going on up here this coach does offer standard the auto leveling uh, hydraulic leveling jacks but it also has uh, air leveling. So as you can see, we can scroll through here and we can go through the uh, different levels of uh, leveling here, right? You can go high, you can go low. Now this coach does offer the comfort drive. So if we just scroll down here to setting, as you can see, we just click on the comfort drive right there. And then you can actually adjust the level of comfort how much is this steering wheel going to do for you? So if you got crowning in the road, you let's say you're driving in a in torrential rain, you got big massive water pedals and it wants to kind of grab the steering wheel and maybe yank you left or right, this thing will help keep you centered on the road. I mean, you can turn this steering wheel and then this thing just automatically goes back to true center by itself, right? Um, so you take this along with the tag axle, it just really enhances the overall driving experience. You do, you got this nice little braking controller. Let's say you've got a nice, uh, it's the Kurt Spectrum uh, controller there. So if you want to increase braking power that your trailer is doing, let's say you're getting ready to go down a, a steep hill, you can actually adjust your, uh, how much your trailer is going to be braking. So I like it. So just, just maybe kind of recap with what's going on with this chassis. Uh, you've got the mobile eye, you've got the lane detection. Uh, it does have the blind spot detection, so it'll actually light up in your mirror there. So as you're making a lane change, you see it light up in the mirror, you're gonna know that there's gonna be somebody beside you. It also has collision avoidance, which is a completely different system. Uh, if somebody slams on their brakes in front of you, this, this coach will apply about 75% of its braking power and, and let you know that uh, this coach is in danger. It'll protect itself. It also has that uh, adaptive cruise control, so it'll speed up and slow down. Uh, with traffic if you want. This seat too also has uh, three settings. So three different memory settings Which is nice. So uh, Maybe you got you and the wife and the grandkid. Hopefully with a driver's license. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly <laughs> Exactly. All right guys, we're just gonna take a quick peek at the camera system here uh, One of the really cool things about this again outside has that camera right next to the keyless entry handle So you'll notice we got a couple options here. We got interior camera trailer one trailer two uh, entry camera. So if we click on entry, 
this is the camera that's right out the door here. You don't have to lift the shade up. You don't have to open the door. You can see who's out there. Uh, if you've got some grandkids or you've got some family coming along with you, you can click on interior camera. All right? It looks like we hey, got some family Shay. here. We got Shay hanging out with us today, checking out this King Air. And so you'll notice right up here, uh, up in this cabinet, this is the camera that's going to be pointing down the way. And you know what? That leads us right into here. This is going to be control central. This actually has all the different uh, control factors as far as opening up your uh, your power window awnings outside, your Girard Nova awnings, you can do all this manually or they do have remote controls so you can do it with your phone, an iPad, um, and then they have their own separate remote. So there's a lot of different ways to operate this coach rather than just right here. It's going to be our Silverleaf system. Yes sir. What makes this really super unique is how simple they've actually made this. It's got active camping mode, we call this coach mode outdoor unplugged outdoor plugged in indoor plugged and door plugged in so right now i actually just uh i just clicked on outdoor unplugged yeah okay as you can hear we got the air conditioner running well guess what we don't have running no generator no generator so this will run your air conditioners without the generator running we're not plugged into power right now so if you're dry camping um what's really nice is with 30,000 watt hours of power, I mean, you can go for a very long time. And what's nice about this too, is if, if your uh, lithium ion batteries get too low on power, you don't have to do anything. When you're in coach mode, it'll automatically start the generator. It'll automatically charge up your batteries for you. And the, the better thing about that is it'll shut down the generator once your batteries are charged. So you're just not wasting fuel. Yeah, I, I like this. I've got to say, I've looked at a lot of different coaches, it's just simple indoor plugged in indoor unplugged outdoor plugged in i mean it just just makes it simple for you you know when i'm setting my inverter controls i can never figure it out so i can appreciate so that so before you either had to be a rocket scientist or you had to go to school for this coach <laughs> right uh which by the way we do for all of our customers i mean this is there's a lot going on with these coaches we try to make it really simple for the end user but at the end of the day we do give you a nice walk around for the coach and if you need to stay in it uh overnight uh and then you got questions for us the very next day we'd be we'd love to be able to help you in that regard yeah too. now i'm seeing two different screens right here as we're walking around the coach now what type of functions can these screens over here do so just about anything with the coach that we've seen up here yep. you can do uh here as well so as you can see we got our lighting functions so uh every all the lights throughout the coach you have an all on or all off uh, you can turn everything off at once. If so now all shades down again. I love that big window over there. It's just really nice. Yeah, beautiful windows in this coach. You know what I like too is with all the blinds down, you know, you've got, I like these light bars that they have that pretty much, instead of just having a round light here, you just got all this light that runs pretty much the length of this slide which is really helps give a lot of light here oh this is the theater mode um yeah so what's theater mode i saw you you mentioned that earlier what's nice about theater mode is um you know usually you've got to push the button to bring the tv up you got to push certain buttons to bring the lights down uh if you are getting ready to watch your movie you can actually just come over here uh let's see click on systems click on theater mode and you're going to notice the TV come up and you'll start noticing the, the lights will automatically start to dim and then they come back up, right? Nice. But at a more, you know, they kind of dim down the lights a little bit. So just like you are at a theater, right? They take all the main lights off, they shut them down and you got just a little bit of accent lighting. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, really nice. this is just a nice feel. You can still walk through the coach and see everything, but you know, for evening time, uh, I, I like theater mode. So here's another thing too, uh, Andrew, right here, they've got a motion sensor. Yeah. Okay. What's nice about that is uh, at night, uh, if you can you up, display it now? Uh, yeah. Let's just turn this on. So it is on right now. Let's turn the, uh, turn all the lights off. Actually, in one second, we'll, so they have another button back here where if you just, oh yeah, up, like that, that light just popped on when you walk back here. Right, so uh, if you want to do all lights off, you can actually just push one button and that shuts all the lights off, right? And of course you can see they've got these sensors everywhere all throughout the coach. Just as you were saying, um, <clears throat> when I walk through here, 
you've seen this one just come on. Yeah. Right. So um, I think because we're all moving around here so much that all this, basically, all this accent lighting that you're seeing down here is uh, what's coming on. Yep. So I like it. Yeah. If you're if you're if you're asleep, all this stuff is off. You get up. This is gonna light up for you. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so what else is going on in this coach? Now, I am stealing your charging cord right now to charge a GoPro camera. Yes. Is that a built-in charger there, or what's going yeah, on? Yeah, so you do have power where uh, if you do have an appliance, um, let's say like your iPad, so this this coach uh, does run on Silverleaf, so all these functions that we just went through, you can control on your iPad. You can do use your My Rosie app, uh, again, where you can control all these functions if you're in Europe and uh, you want to let your detail crew come in so because you're getting ready to take a trip you can unlock the doors for them you can actually turn the air conditioner on for them so it's nice and comfortable while they're working back to the couch here though but what you'll see not only does it have a power supply where you can charge up your phones it does have heat so let's say you had a long day out there tooling around the desert and you're side by side <laughs> your, do your dog tired throw on a little bit of heat it also does have that nice little massage function too and uh, you can light up your tray with different colors of light. So, um, I'm a, and you do have your power recliner there. We're just gonna, we're gonna stretch you out. I think I'm gonna kick back here. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm gonna take a nap in this King Air. No, this is actually super comfortable though. I was just getting pretty comfortable over we here. We don't wanna get them too comfortable. No, no, sir, I need to be your camera, man. I mean, I could just hand you the camera for the rest of the video, but I wanna see what else is going on in this coach. So, yeah. uh, th now, does this couch across the way, does that turn into a sleeper sofa? Yeah, so this is gonna be a tri-fold couch. You can actually sleep two full adults on there. And we did demonstrate that in the other 2022 video where we also took it for a test drive. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description below if you haven't already seen that. It's still got room to walk through it even with the, with the bed out. Yes, sir. So That's right. Or, when the yeah. bed's out, you've got ample room to get here in front of it. Uh, what's nice too is uh, if you've got company and uh, you do have these little uh, ports here on both sides of the couch. So uh, power for everybody. You've got these beautiful uh, quartz countertops. So one of the nice things too, when we were when we were out there earlier, we saw that water filtration system down there in that bay. Uh, it is a, a UV water filtration system up to five microns. So, and uh, that will give you a nice, fresh, clean water coming out of this big right here. So pretty nice. Big, huge, uh, man, these, these- Is that a quartz or that's, what? That's a quartz countertop. And I tell you what, this these things, it's the real deal. And you've got this huge uh, stainless steel farm sink. Really nice. I mean, uh, if you've got a pet, you've got a grandchild, I mean, you've got room for it all. Yeah, that's a, a very wide, probably one of the largest sinks in the industry. Mm -hmm. you got this beautiful, this is the Modesto uh, Rift Oak cabinets. This slides out. Yeah. Really nice European style, right? Of course, all your hinges are hidden. Uh, all the touches on this are just going to be phenomenal. Um, just push a button, right? That gets you to your Viking uh, convection microwave oven. You do have power ports on both sides of the uh, uh, countertop here. So, I mean, coffee pot, toaster, blender, you name it, you got room for it all. And uh, they also do give you a, a nice little window here. So, beautiful window uh, looking out here. That's a good looking Dutch star right there. If you, uh, if the King Air is a little bit uh, out of your price range, that Dutch star is a nice option. And I've got to just point out all that polished stainless around the lip of the window and really a beautiful backsplash uh, in this coach as well. Mm -hmm. You got the Wolf induction cooktop here. They do got the built-in uh, dishwasher. I love the fact that they, they made it look like the rest of the cabinets. Yeah. And I just want to point out, this is what really separates King Air from the rest of the pack, is these windows. I mean, these things are just seamless. They're ex they're extremely tall. Now, speaking of height, they were able to get a little bit more height on these windows because they were able to add four, four inches of height to the uh, overall height of the ceiling. Now, I'm six foot, as you can see, I mean, yeah. You and I, in an earlier video, we're actually standing in the side. I'm, I'm six too. I've been in a lot of other King Airs, that, you know, like 17s and 18s, where I, I couldn't stand in the slide out. The new 2022s. I mean, look at this. Look at this height over here. I mean, this is, you know, where I can sit down without even worrying about hitting my head. So that's definitely a huge step up for the King Air. Yeah. So when you're actually uh, 
when you're standing in the coach, you've all, you're pretty darn close to a 360 degree view. I mean, other than from here to here, but when you look around, you've got all this window, and they even got the window in the slide out on the side of it. Yeah. And of course, it comes around and pans around. Now, this is all bonded glass, so you don't have any hardware in the glass at all. You don't have nothing to obstruct your view. So just absolutely gorgeous. Big, big upgrade. King Air, Numar really stepped up their game this year on the King Air. We just closed those blinds back down and I've got to point out this accent wall here. What a beautiful look. You've got well, a booth area. What's going on over here? So what's nice about the booth, it is a power, it's a, it's a power dinette. So you actually just, um, just push a button, it comes out. And what I like about, what I can appreciate about it is just how wide uh, this overall dinette is. It gives you a lot of seating space. Now, some yeah. of these dinettes, um, they just don't give you enough room for two people. This is so cool how it's just all one touch by the touch of one button. And then you've got your nice tapered cushion here. So it'll actually sink down and it's not, it's not gonna grow legs and move around on you. So you tuck it in and it's gonna stay still right where it's at. But you can see just how wide that is. Yeah, a lot of, lot of sitting area here. Four people can comfortably have dinner. Again, heated floors, even on the slide outs and no carpet in this coach, folks. That same beautiful kind of a modern farmhouse style look on the floors, same flooring throughout the coach. Just kind of nice. I mean, you know, with your lighting up here, you've got your accent lighting all around. They even brought it into the, the dinette table as well. And one of the things that you mentioned earlier on the other King Air was how the accent lighting came out with the dinette. So as it's coming out, I mean, I mean maybe it's laid out and maybe you're watching your movies. It's nice to have a little bit of light around here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Viking residential refrigerator. Yeah, so nothing but the best when it comes to the King Air. We give you the Viking residential refrigerator. I mean, just absolutely nice. Of course, it has its own purification system. Now with the uh, UV water filtration that uh, we had down below, it supplies the water to the refrigerator, then it runs through its uh, water filtration system. And then, so when you've got ice coming in here, that ice is really nice. And so it does have the ice maker down here below as well. Nice. Now in the 4531 model, uh, you do get the bigger pantry. So just really nice. Now, what you're gonna see here, there's an actuator in here that when you put this thing in drive, it automatically locks all these drawers in place. Nice. You don't have to worry about one little of those safety things. feature, so you don't have to worry about your stuff coming around. And uh, this is a bath and a half floor plan as well, right? Bath and a half. So you'll notice how this is flush. If I'm walking around, I'm not snagging my clothes on it, right? So uh, easy access into it. Let me turn on some lights here. For yeah. You. So this thing does actually have the uh, uh, motion sensor in here as well. So if you're not wanting to turn on lights. Um, as you can see, it's got the accent lighting below the countertop. Yeah, beautiful half bathroom with that hammered copper sink. And then I love that backsplash and a good size window here. Uh, does this window in the bathroom open up? It does actually. So um, typically with your bonded with your bonded uh, glass, you don't have that. But boy, Numar really figured out a nice way to... Oh, I like it. And it's easy on the fingers. Yeah. Right? It's not hard at all. Just easy peasy. Yeah, and then you also have a vent with a fan up there. I like they've got the lighting on the mirror as well. Yeah. Just a lot of high, high-end options in this coach. I mean, even in your window balances, you got that accent lighting. Just really nice. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is what this coach is all about. The bedroom and the rear bathroom. What's going on back here, sir? So, um, we've got a really nice big uh, king bed. This is going to be a sleep number bed. You're gonna know. Oh, you're putting the slide out out right now. The slide out was still in. Yep, slide out was still in. Um, but you can see we we follow the same treatment that we had in the ceiling, uh, right here into the bedroom. It's gonna have what's called comfort air. I'm gonna go through that here in just a little bit. But one of the things I want to point out is uh, the trim work over here. You can see that we follow the quartz right into the bedroom, uh, right there with your uh, wireless uh, phone charging station. But we bring that quartz right up. It's part of the molding with that big beautiful uh, wall sconce there. Just absolutely gorgeous. You've got your uh, leather blind shades over there, which is kind of nice. Yeah, and I've got to just point out the, the look of this bed here. When you go to, into this bedroom, does not feel like a motorhome at all. 
with all of the wall valances that they use and I love these pillows and then when we do open up those window shades there's a lot of windows back there as well a uh, full king size bed it looks like yeah you got a full uh, king size bed uh, it is a sleep number and as, as you can see I'm actually standing in this slide right again yes and sir I'm, I'm six foot I got about probably about two two three inches here yeah let me head. see I'm six I'm six two here so I'm gonna step in I mean I'm really I'm right kind of if, if, if I stand up too tall I would say it's probably right at 6'2". So, so if you had your shoes off and you're walking back here, probably plenty of clearance. Let's open up some blinds here. I just kind of want you to see huge windows in your bedroom. What yeah. a cool look. So, I mean, your headboard, I mean, if, you, if you're at an ocean somewhere, right, and you've got the ocean for your background, that is your headboard. Yeah. Right? I mean, you've got this big, beautiful view here on both sides. Um, not your typical window here at your dresser. I mean, a really extra wide window and uh you know just a fireplace really, as well absolutely really nice fireplace you got your nice cabinets you have plenty of storage this is just your bedroom storage we are going to of course have a nice nice uh closet back here in the bathroom speaking of bathroom i think you guys are going to love this yeah i'm looking forward to seeing this so uh coming into the bathroom you're going to have these nice big beautiful doors uh they are on that like a barn style type rail which is really nice um, you got these nice big beautiful mirrors. Uh, you know, you're getting ready to go out for the night. You got, uh, you know, you could probably be getting ready in here. You could be getting ready in there. Yeah. Well, this is where it's at. I mean, the size of this rear bathroom, it's yeah. almost like a room in itself. It is. I mean, the this is like literally coming into a day spa. You have the beautiful marble floors. I've never seen marble floor in a coach before. Uh, you got all that nice, beautiful marble inlay, and then <clears throat> yeah. And I, I want to point out real quick now. There's a little step up here, but I've noticed you've still got plenty of headroom. It almost like the headroom goes up with the floor. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. going on here? So to give you all that extra ceiling height, this is about a 13 foot, four inch high coach overall. What they did is they added a little bit of an arch back here. I call it like this this cathedral type ceiling. It just gives you this nice big open feel for. I mean, you said you're six two. Uh, you probably don't feel claustrophobic here at all. It's just a no. lot of room. Coming back here, uh, following through with the rest of our appliances. I mean, King Air does everything high end. You got your you got your Bosch appliances, washer and dryer here. So just really nice. That's super high mm -hmm. end. Super high end, super efficient. You know, one thing if you're dry camping with all that additional power, it's just nice to be able to run as long as you can. Now coming into the shower, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the uh, they even finished the outside of the shower. Oh yeah, look at right. that. Wow, I've never seen that like that. Yeah, so they 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 touch everything. I mean, you've got just a little bit of tile running down the side oh, of yeah. the shower here. So, I mean, every attention detail that they could possibly think of, they did it. And that shower head. Yeah, that's probably about the most beefy shower head I've ever seen. Um, In a motorhome, I would agree with you. And then it's got a second shower head. You've got your body wash, shampoo dispensers there beautiful tile work up the side of the wall mm -hmm. and then a teak seat and I love that uh, kind of drainless look where, where you still have a drain uh, in the tile there and then you can set your temperature there um, and then now this also has a system to help conserve water as well I believe yeah so this has got the aqua view system in here what it's going to do is preheat the water instead of if, if you want to conserve water and instead of just letting it run out until it warms out you can actually wait till this lights up and then when it does light up, you can just turn this dial and then the water comes out of here instantly, it's gonna be hot. Nice. Um, and what's kind of cool is you can run both of these shower heads at different temperatures. So you just have a different selection uh, to control this overhead. You would push this and then arrange the temperature to hot, cold, however you like it. And then maybe you want this a little bit cooler, a little bit hotter, you have that option. So there's- Very cool. Yeah, a lot of practical use to this. And then this coach does have the emergency egress door. This is a really nice uh, sink area here with the double sinks. The lit mirror, what else is going on? Yeah, I mean, I just love the attention to detail, right? You got this big trough sink that's been hammered out. You've got the integrated light inside the mirror. And uh, you do get two medicine cabinets here. This does have a plug in here. So if you got a curling iron, blow dryer, it's nice to get access to your power. And of course, you do have your little command central. So like all the different functions that we were showing you earlier, you can control right here with your coach. You do got your little rear closet back here. I like how that lights up back there. Yeah. 
even have a light right here, large safe. Yeah, that's kind of nice, right? That little light on the on the hanging rack. Yeah, all lined with cedar, and then you've got double wardrobe space over on that end, and then all those shoe cubbies there, uh, adjustable shelving on this side. There's your wine guard uh, controls. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of a lot of hanging space back there. Now I've got to get everybody a close up too of this texture. That's beautiful. We have a special guest today. Shay's been tagging along with us. What do you think of this 2022 King Air? A few of my favorite favorite features of King Airs are definitely the kitchen sink. Yeah. Um, with how large it is, this is awesome. Um, I really like the backsplash. The colors in here are just really, really warm and welcoming. Um, I know Lance already touched on the ceiling. Uh, I love how it carries through to the to the back, uh, bedroom back here. And then I've never seen lights like this in the yeah. bedroom, so it just gives it a really kind of cozy, um, kind of high-end feel to it. So I really love those. The fireplace, always a great feature. Um, and then the bathroom, obviously they, they touched on this, but this is probably one of my favorite bathrooms that I've seen, um, just with how, how large it is. And then the shower too. I just really like the design, the colors that are used in it. Um, just feels like a spa, I think Lance said that too, so. <laughs> yeah, now you got to go for a test ride in the other 2022 King Air. Yes. We've been riding in a lot of coaches lately. How did yes, you think that have. 22 King Air stacked up? I loved it. Um, very, very smooth, very quiet. I didn't hear any squeaks and rattles. I know we had the window open a little bit in one portion of the video, so if there was any noise that you could hear, that's what it was. Um, yeah. Huge fan of King Airs. Lance, I don't know if I want to leave this coach, but I think this is a little bit above my pay grade. If one of the viewers out there is a serious buyer and they want to purchase this coach, I know they're very rare and it's very hard to get a hold of a King Air like this. Who should they get a hold of? Hey guys, I'd be honored to be able to help you. My name is Lance. I'm with TransWest here. We're located in Belton, Missouri. Uh, you can reach me uh, via my cell phone, which is 208-290-5750. Uh, or you can call the store, which is 877-772-9995. We got a great sales staff here, so anybody at the store here can help you. We sure look forward to hearing from you. 2021 King Airs were basically impossible to get a hold of. I mean, they get sold immediately. You, you know, you're right, Andrew. It's just, it's, it's rare for me to even have a King Air on my lot. And fortunately, we just happen to have two, which is like, I just can't, I'm excited about it. I mean, we have the 4531, we got the 4533. So um, we do have just a short amount of uh, chassis that are allocated because Newmar, there's such a shortage in supplies and parts out there. I mean, I'm sure all of us have felt the pinch on that. If you are wanting to move forward with a coach and maybe one of these is not hitting, hitting the right buttons, we can customize that coach, colors, fabrics. Um, we can kind of get it more dialed into how you want, but I would say time is of the essence because uh, most of these coaches are getting sold before they even reach my lot. Well, Lance, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to show us this beautiful King Air. Huge thanks to you and the team at TransWest. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Hey, Andrew, I appreciate you, buddy. And, and uh, you know, the YouTube audience out there, I appreciate you as well. And uh, just let me know how I can help. I hope you all have a great day.